Well, we're back here in Twilight Town again, and after the events in Destiny Island, Twilight Town seems a little bit tame in comparison, however, a lot goes on in this stage. For example, there are now two story rooms you have to enter. After all this time with just one story room, you're going to be contending with two. The first one is actually right towards the beginning of the stage. I strongly suggest using a moment's reprieve on the door right next to it, so you'll have a save room right before you enter this one, because it's got the boss fight against a fairly tough boss. He's not Zexion by any means, he's more of a straight shooter, however, this boss can hurt you if you don't take him seriously. The next story room door is on the far northwest side of the room, which requires you to go through a long string of rooms to get to, and then afterwards you'll have to go clear back to the center again and then up the east side to get to your conqueror's respite. This stage just loves running you ragged. There is, however, nothing wrong with going through each of the rooms and clearing them out first before you battle the boss. So let me tell you what type of deck you have for this one. And it's unfortunately been nerfed from the GBA version, which gave you plenty of 9s to do Dark Aura. Here you'll only have one 9 normally. Basically, it's a dueling deck. It's got a lot of high cards for you to use, and there's a lot of them in there. So if you can start a duel, you'll be able to win fairly easily. However, if you do use Martial Walking, you can use that Dark Aura. Either way, I suggest either winning duels or using martial walking to do the dark aura spell because the monsters around here are many. They're basically toughened up versions of your Traverse Town bad guys except they got a lot more HP, a lot more attack strength, and they appear by the dozens in these battles. So like I said, win duels to do the impulse or try to do dark aura to get rid of them otherwise you're in for one heck of a slog. You know, after getting his butt whooped so many times, you think this guy would be ready to leave you alone, but no, he's back here for one final fight against you. Anyways, this Dark Riku clone will be fighting the same way he was fighting Sora up on the top floors. So be prepared to get hit with Dark Aura. It's not quite as fatal against Riku as it was against Sora, but if he manages to hit you with it, Expect plenty of damage, and it can knock you out of Dark Riku mode pretty fast. Besides that, just pretty much try to duel him and slash at him. It's probably better just to button mash this guy, especially with Lexius card on, because it will do some damage against him as well as stun him. For the most part, that's all you can really do is either try to get him into a duel or button mash. If he knocks you out of Dark Riku mode, um, play defensively, break his cards until you transform again, and then slash at him. After you're done, you have finally finished this guy off for the last time, and he won't be appearing anytime again in Kingdom Hearts. This is the only person so far to actually have been killed off in the series for good. After you beat Dark Riku, the only thing you'll get is the key to Guidance, which you will need to unlock that second story door, which will have a Quick cutscene explaining a few things in the story. There are no battles, it's just a cutscene, and then you'll have to make your way through the other side of the stage to your conqueror's respite and then leave the stage. Our final stage is up next, and it's pretty much just a battle with Ansem. No, I ain't kidding, it's short. It's like only two rooms, and one of them's the battle with Ansem. So I'll talk about that next stage.